We are talking about bulking and cutting. This is part one of a two-part video series, and today we're going to focus on the bulking aspect. So what is bulking? Bulking is when you are trying to gain muscle mass, and you are trying to get bigger than where you're currently at. Now, with bulking, um, you want to do it slowly. You don't want to eat everything in sight and gain a lot of fat along with muscle. So this video is going to explain how to bulk properly to minimize fat gain and maximize your muscle growth potential during your bulking phase. So the first thing I can start out with is that you don't have to, I mean, a lot of people don't want to count calories. I'm just going to go ahead and say that you really, really should, and you should start getting used to it and tracking your macros, your macronutrients, your protein, your fat, your carbs, um, because that is really the only way or the best, most efficient way to bulk or cut or do anything, uh, because you need to know what you're putting into your body. So these are some tips for that. I personally use my Fitness Pal app, but here's how I get my starting calories, and this is just a guesstimate of where you could start, but it's going to take you to monitor your progress and tweak things as you go. And I'll explain. So the most simple formula out there for getting a starting caloric range is if you're a woman, you take 10 times your body weight. And if you're a man, you take 11 times your current body weight. Then that gives you your number. Then you, you times that number by an activity factor. Now, I'll tell you now, most of us come like a 1.3 activity factor, which is moderate exercise uh, four to five times a week. Um, look up the activity factors online. You'll see the range. It goes all the way up to two, I believe, in some cases for people who are work construction all day or who lift, um, you know, who is like an athlete who's constantly working out and expending calories. So once you take a, let's say I'm a man, I'm 200 pounds, 11 times my body weight, times 1.3, I think that puts me in somewhere uh, just under 3,000 calories. So what that's saying is, in that simplistic formula, if I eat 3,000 calories a day, I'm going to maintain my weight. But in this case, we want to grow, right? We want to kind of maximize our muscle growth potential. So what I would do is take that number 11 times your body weight, times 1.3, Use that as your starting calorie range for that number right there. And for the next couple of weeks, aim to hit that caloric range. Now, of that, of those calories, 20%, a minimum of 20% should be from fat. You should be having one, about a gram to maybe 1.25 grams per uh, of protein per pound of body weight. And then once you factor in the calories from fat, and protein, whatever's left over, you allocate the carbs. Simplest way to do it. Now you're tracking, you're hitting your macros, you're hitting your calories. At the end of the week, weigh yourself. Look in the mirror. Does it look like you're putting on a lot of fat? If so, dial it back a little bit. If you're actually sometimes when people start tracking calories, they actually start losing weight. If that's the case, gradually increase calories. You never want to do anything so drastic, like add a thousand calories, but you want to add a couple hundred at a time until progress stalls and you feel like you're not maximizing or you're not growing as much as you think you should. Uh, another tip to keep in mind, if you're an intermediate to advanced lifter, muscle growth happens at a very slow rate. We're talking about sometimes if you're really experienced, maybe a pound to two pounds top a year. So don't be discouraged by your progress. Enjoy the progress, enjoy the journey, and the results will come. Now, if you don't want to count calories, the best advice I could give you is to eat sensibly and daily look in the mirror and see what your eating is doing to your body. Um, now, some tips for the hard gainers. Some people, believe it or not, I'm not one of them. I can easily put on fat and weight, unfortunately. But some people are an ectomorph type body type, a very slim, skinny body type, and they have a hard time gaining weight. In that case, this is what mass gainers are made for. People who need extra calories, who can't physically eat all the calories they need, boom. Take a shake, add two of these a day, count them, and track your progress. And this helps a lot for people who have a hard time gaining weight. So now I covered the nutrition part. 
as best I can for this type of video um, based on um, the topic we're talking about, which is bulking. Now on to the training part. Uh, I would recommend to pretty much everybody, no matter what you're doing, train each body part twice a week and train heavy, uh, especially if you're a natural um, bodybuilder. We have to train really heavy and put a lot of stress on our body to maximize growth potential. So you need to have those those sets of five reps where you can barely crank out that fifth rep. Uh, and we also need sets that are going to be 12 to 15 reps. So have a nice mixture. Don't always do high reps workouts. Have some low reps, high weight workouts. Any questions about any of this, you know, you can always comment below. Um, another thing to focus on is your pre, intra, and post-workout nutrition. So pre-workout nutrition, you want to have a nice wholesome meal if you can, something with complex carbs that's not going to digest super fast. So something like your, your rice, your, your whole wheat breads, um, pasta, something along those lines uh, that's going to digest more slow, uh, slowly than something like sugar. Um, intra-workout. I recommend BCAAs, something that you can drink while you're working out uh, to help keep electrolyte balance, uh, to help with energy levels, and so forth. And then post-workout nutrition, you want something, now you want something that's going to digest a little faster. You want something like maybe waxy maize with your whey protein, um, something along those lines that's going to help jumpstart the recovery process for your muscle cells. Uh, now, some supplements that will help with bulking in general Hard gainer, mass gainer. Simple, right? You're having a hard time reaching your protein goals during the day, but you don't have a hard time eating, then just regular whey protein helps to hit that target protein number, whatever it is for you. BCAAs, as I already mentioned, great to have on hand. A multi and fish oil are two things I recommend to everybody, even if you don't work out. And if you're over 25, um, look into our natural test boosters because they can go a long way with hormone optimization. So this is part one. Part two is coming up with a cutting aspect to the, the whole workout world. And if you like this video, if you found it informative, like the video, subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing a ton more videos like this. Any comments, please leave them below. We'll address them. And thank you for watching.